The CC case against Ripple is gaining new strength. What will happen next? We'll find out today. After falling for a while, XRP has rallied in the unpredictable cryptocurrency market. This rebound has boosted market confidence as traders and investors I key price objectives and expect good results from the SEC legal conflict. Legal experts believe Ripple and CEO Brad at Garlinghouse have the upper hand in negotiating a $770 dollars min settlement with the CC. The SEC seems frustrated and embarrassed by the case's length. Even now, Ripple risks a lengthy remedies phase while the SEC investigates its institutional offers and transactions. However, Ripple is disputing the sex's jurisdiction and categorization of transactions and emphasizing the unusual nature of post-complaint sales to ODAL clients. XRP's price is being watched as October 2023 ends. After a low of 66 cents, Changely, a popular digital currency conversion site, expects XRE to reach $0. 763 on October 30. On October 31, a little drop to 607 cents is expected. Despite cryptocurrency market volatility, these estimates show XRMP's potential for price increase. A recent U.S. court finding that XRP is not a security sparked its price increase and led to its relisting on numerous exchanges. Remember that XRP, like other cryptocurrencies, is volatile. Ripple continues to fight the seas with the remedies phase expected to be more difficult and lengthy than the trial. Not only will this lawsuit affect Ripple and its old-old customers, but also the U.S. cryptocurrency sector, Lucy the Scheiber Inu Team's official marketing specialist reacted to Musk's tweet with a fun animated gif of a dog using a banana as a phone with the text, Bring Ring Ring Ring. This playful reaction from the Shiba Inu community showed their excitement for SHIB support on X. The popular XRP or XRE account, Exelsi Cryptool Fast Musk, when is XX accepting XRP payments? The GXR community was anxious to examine the potential of their coin becoming recognized on the site. Musk announced new features, and the X community was excited. Many people thought these upgrades would improve X's utility and adaptability, bringing it closer to Musk's everything app. These changes should improve communication and create the groundwork for future integration with other technologies, say users. The XRP and SHIB communities anxiously await X's video and audio calling capabilities, but they doubt Elon Musk would embrace their cryptocurrency. Musk has supported Dogecoin and suggested taking Doge payments on X. No such assertions have been made about XR poor SHIB. Musk's cryptocurrency taste may go beyond the biggest meme coin, leaving fans curious. Adding XRP or SHIB support to X is questionable. Elon Musk's latest post on video and audio calling shows his openness to platform improvement. Until an official declaration is made, the XRP and SHIB communities can only guess about their chosen digital assets joining X. In the RippleSec legal battle, Ripple scored a partial victory this year when Judge Nelisa Torres ruled in its favor. The CC's appeal was also denied, and the case against Ripple's CEO and co-founder was dismissed. November 9 is a crucial date as the CC plans to meet and confer with Ripple as stated in a letter to Judge Torres. The outcome of the November 9 meeting could have far-reaching implications for Ripple, XRP, and the broader cryptocurrency market. This meeting aims to discuss potential remedies concerning Ripple's alleged Section 5 violations. This meeting is a significant development in the ongoing legal battles between Ripple and the CES. While the exact details of the meeting are yet to be disclosed, it's a critical point in the case. This session is expected to pave the way for discussions on potential solutions and the eventual resolution of the lawsuit. It's a date that many in the cryptocurrency community and the legal world are keeping a close eye on. Legal experts suggest that the chances of the SEC winning are very slim, and even if they do, the process will be long and complex. The SEC would need to go through multiple hearings and appeals, extending the case for an extended period. The XRP community can expect more updates on this lawsuit, but the good news is that XRP's status as a non-security is unlikely to change. The bad news is that it might be a while before the case concludes.
XRP joined the broader crypto market in positive territory on Monday. Optimism toward the SEC approving BTC spot ETFs fuel demand for cryptos. However, hope for a settlement in the ongoing SEC v Ripple case contributed to the three-day winning streak. Last week, the SEC dropped the charges against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. Significantly, the SEC also advised the court of ongoing efforts for the SEC and Ripple to agree on remedies to charges against Ripple. Specifically, the court filing stated the charges related to Section 5 violations concerning its institutional sales of XRP. One camp believes the SEC wants to settle the remaining charges to expedite an appeal of the programmatic sales ruling. Others saw Ripple in a stronger position, considering the Hyman speech-related documents. The SEC asked the court to give the two parties until November 9 to find remedies to the remaining charges. Sex of Ripple case-related news will remain a focal point for investors. Its progress toward a settlement and an sex agreement without appealing the programmatic sales ruling would be a boon for XRP. Beyond the CCV Ripple case, the CV Coinbase coin will continue to garner investor interest. Investors await a court ruling on the Coinbase motion to dismiss Dive. Coinbase argues the CC lacks the statutory power to regulate the crypto space. As background, the CC charged Coinbase with allegedly operating as an unregistered securities exchange broker and clearing agency. Additional charges included the unregistered offering and selling of securities in connection with its staking as a service program. Cryptolaurus founder and Amicus Curia attorney John E. Dayton previously shared his views on the likely influence of the CCV Coinbase case on the Ripple case. Crypto law. U.S. founding attorney John Dayton has made new statements about a possible settlement in the current legal battle between the SEC and Ripple. Dayton said that he does not think the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple have had any real conversations to resolve the dispute peacefully. According to attorney Dayton, the conclusion of Coinbase's move to dismiss the CC's accusations will influence the fate of the Ripple litigation. It should be noted that the San Francisco-based exchange filed a court petition in August seeking dismissal of the SEC's complaint. Coinbase alleged in the motion that the SEC violated due process and abandoned its view of the securities laws. Coinbase submitted another filing earlier this week in response to the CC's objection to the request. Dayton, who earlier said that the Coinbase move has teeth to it, stated that the oral argument in the matter would be heard on January 17, 2024, with a judgment anticipated 60, 120 days thereafter. According to the ProXRP lawyer, if Coinbase wins the lawsuit, the CC will be obliged to shift its anti-crypto objective and negotiate on a settlement with Ripple. However, Dayton thinks that if Coinbase's move to dismiss the SEC allegations is denied, there will be no settlement in the Ripple case. In addition, attorney Dayton discussed the next remedies step in the SEC v. Ripple action, it is worth noting that the next step of the Ripple litigation is the remedies stage. The court will establish the proper punishment Ripple will pay for breaking federal securities laws by selling XRP to institutional investors during this period. Attorney Dayton responded by referring to the punishment phase as a second case that necessitates depositions and the presentation of documents such as bank statements and on-demand liquidity transactions. According to Dayton, the SEC is humiliated by the developments in the complaint, which seeks $770 worth of flesh. He anticipates that Ripple will significantly lower the amount by aiming to eliminate ODL-related XRP sales, wages, and travel expenditures.